Historically, I don't think people really say that. I think they make the pictures white. I think they do that on purpose to mentally, you know, psychologically, what it does is like it make you think that, whatever, I don't want to get into that either because we're not getting into racial things right now. <clears throat> we're just really having fun. I mean, if, if it comes up, I'll talk. Bernie Mac or Red Fox is a great question. I got to say Red Fox, but Ber that's a close one, though. I'm like, I rock, I got to... Yeah, I rock with comedy legends. That's crazy. But Red Fox is one of my all-time greats. And Bernie Mac is right there. But shout out to Patrice O'Neill. I put like Patrice O'Neill is the one for me too. George Carlin. I rock with comedians. Like I do the comedian talk all day. I'm into that. Black Jesus. Black Jesus. I rock with that. We all brown, but I understand what you mean. Black, I, like it's in the concept of black as a social concept. I, I understand. I'm not like against it. Like I said, shout out to the Black Panther Party for self-defense and all that. Old and new. Allah is our creator. One is all. I, I, whatever that... I, I say one is all. I, I, I agree with you. I, one is all. We all one. Bernie Mac or Red Fox. Both, for real. Exactly. Thank you. So, so, uh, let me make sure I'm saying your name right, brother. Or uh, sister, whatever. I'm, I'm sorry for if I say that. So, I don't know. I'm, actually, I'm, uh, yeah. You could pronounce that for me because that sounds like it's, it's meant for me to... Um, Oh, nah, because maybe you are actually from Palestine or something like that. Let me give more, pro put more proper respect on your name. Let me see. From the Arabic that I started to learn, I wasn't really that good with that. I didn't really get that deep with Arabic, though, out of all languages. Sakdir, Sakdir, Sakdir. Whatever. I'm not, not whatever like that, but I'm going I'm to I'm leave it at that. Bernie Mac, okay, we got there. Allah is the greatest. Respect to you. Allah has freed me. Respect to y'all. All right. Allah is right. Allah. Let me ask y'all, all the Muslims in the chat, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to assume anything, but um, are any of you guys Muslims in the nation of Islam or are y'all Muslims like on your own, um, your own path, like before the nation of Islam existed? That's like, like, not like that. No disrespect to the nation of Islam, but I'm just asking. Christians and Muslims must unite. Yo, who said that? I like that. I actually, I think I need to make that the, um, oh, free Larry Hoover or Christians and Muslims must unite. Sheesh, that's a harsh one to pin. Free Larry Hoover's. I right, I hope you wrote free Larry Hoover again. I'm going to pin this one right now because I think that's fire. How do I pin that comment? Oh, yeah, what I'm doing. We're going to pin that. Yes, unity is the key. I, I love unity. I want to put Free Larry Hoover back up, so I hope that got put to the chat again. Allah's only ticket to salvation. The only ticket? I don't think we should be saying only, brother. But I, I rock with you or sister. I don't know. My fault, if I'm, how, however I say that. But um, shout out on um, waking up. Like, fire emoji. I mean, just because of that fire emoji, you get a wrench. But um, shout out to you waking up. I'm waking up. Well, I mean, I've been waking up. I ain't gonna lie, like, act like I was waking up. But I know in Cali, my homies in Cali, shout out to all the bros and sisters in Cali. Shout out to the loved ones in Cali. Y'all know what the heart is, my lot. Heart to heart, shout out to you. Definitely gotta make my visit out there. That's gonna, like I said, it's gonna happen when I'm been supposed to have been made a trip back out there. But I gotta, like, really have my stuff set up in, over here. And I got mad housework I need to be taking care of. Jesus wasn't even crucified. Oh, y'all going. Y'all about to go in. But don't plug. I said no crusades. I'm, I'm rock with the debate, though. Ain't it funny how all your comments prove this is a scam? What, prove what is a scam? And ain't it funny how all your comments prove this is a scam? What the, mm. You worship idols? No, I want to hear what Sarah Smith's saying. Oh, there we go. We all were given religion since birth, and now all the truth is out. People still blinded by religion and politics. Oh, yeah, but I mean... Sarah, damn, that was deep. Sarah, I rock with you for that. Sarah's telling the truth. Sarah, you definitely get a wrench. I, that's the kind of consciousness. I, we could talk about that all day, Sarah, but it's like, I don't, um, as, especially as an educator, I have to, like, it's mandatory for me to have to learn how to be non judgmental. So I learned how to, like, that's why I said I'm, I, don't, I don't put this here. I keep these books mainly around. I don't know if it's even up there, but like, all the, wait, where my Bible and all that at? Oh, damn, I flipped it over. But I, I ain't got no time to be looking through all the books. So y'all can rewind if y'all need to see the actual books. Because I think that's actually good. A lot of people don't... It's as if we think that all books are just audio form now. We don't even realize that books are phys in physical form is a still a thing. But when they come to the religions with Christ and um, um, Jesus... Because Christos... Christ means Christos. I know a lot of people don't understand that. You hear Christ and you think Jesus Christ. But it's Jesus the Savior. Jesus the Christos. I, I'm not getting the, the deeper we get into that, the harsher of a reality is going to be about religion. And I'm not here to hurt or break anybody's concepts about religion. But I know that y a lot of people don't research and y'all don't realize that there's a real history out there. So <clears throat> once again, as I take my little um, smoke break, don't forget I'm about to um, finish reading. Make sure y'all subscribe, like, comment. I mean, y'all comment and then but share and all that type of stuff. Hold up. 
Because Sarah Smith is, if y'all watching with Sarah Smith, Sarah Smith got a wrench right now. Sarah Smith dropping jewels. I'm not going to pin that, but I would have pinned that. But I don't want to, like I said, it's people, chills still have a choice. And some people are born into this. I think you said that. Yes, yeah, since birth. So we got to have psychologically and sociologically, we got to understand that if you're born into that like that, it's hard for you. Like a slave, people still slave minded. People still, I mean, to be honest, a lot of this stuff comes from slave mentalities, comes from slavery days. So a lot of people are still dealing with that trauma that got passed on from generations and generations. So if you talk about religion, religion is something that some people, they probably just left a mosque. They probably just left. They probably planning on going to mosque, probably just in a um, temple right now, probably going to church tomorrow. So I feel you, though, Sarah um, Smith. Shout out to you. You have to be truthful. I am. I, I, res I respect that, Sarah. I respect that, Sarah. I don't know what you mean, though, by that. I don't think maybe I think it's time for us to have a conversation about that, Sarah, because I think I, I mean, I, I, I from as what I'm seeing, I'm being 100 percent truthful. There's a oneness within all. Maybe now it's time for me to show you something, Sarah. I don't know. Most people who, who say things like that without I mean, I'm not judging you or anything like that, but. I don't just, I, I'm not just into the Bible. I'm going to get to the Quran. I'm a, I mean, this is the Siddhartha because I, I just brought this down here, but I got the teaching of the Buddha, the Bhagavad Gita, um, <clears throat> anything else you can think of. I mean, I have all type of Kabbalic books, but I mean, the, the Torah, the five books of the Bible, that's, you know, that's already there with reading the Bible. But like I said, when you read all of these together, they all say the same thing, Sarah. That's my word. They are. They are. And if you haven't, I think it's a beautiful thing for you to do. They're saying it in different ways. But I mean, if we just talk about the so-called three major religions, they literally start off their first five books are literally the same type of book. They're saying the same things. And they have the same references to the same type of people besides like, hey, we'll go on. You know what I mean? I think you already wrote it in the chat. Let me go on because I want to I don't want to um, I want to keep going before I leave. But you have to be truthful. No, is no Islam's is the only night. Let me just go through these. I'm going to have to speed read these. You all find out in the end people will threaten you with religion. Yeah, can't make this up. Nigerian. Um, no, I'm not Nigerian, brother. Maybe my ancestry is, but I don't do that ancestry.com nonsense. I believe that whatever it is, it is. I'm love, I am I got love and um, familiarity with everybody. Everywhere I go, every culture, every region, anywhere I've been in the world, I feel a loving and a connection. So the planet is my home. We have been bamboozled past repair. Sarah Smith is telling truth. She's speaking. That's facts. What strain you smoking? Gorilla glue. Um, 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 Zuperados. Zuperado. Zu oh yeah, what am I for? Let me give you. You get a wrench. Weed related. All my weed connoisseurs. All my all my ganja connoisseurs. I rock with y'all automatically. What up, big bro? BBL Drizzy. <laughs> the name. That's good enough for me to laugh. What up, though, BBL Drizzy? Yo, yo, Drake is taking a hit right now. Like every turn of you, yo, the students are coming into the class with with singing Drake songs. There's Drake the bass and all of them. I mean, singing Kendrick songs. Like y'all already know what time it is. The the students, even the adults, are are making jokes about Drake. It's bad. I've never seen something like this. I've never seen so many people on one side of it. Even with like Jay Z, Nas, um, the whole thing with O Block and all that stuff, the BDs and GDs. Because the kids in New York City, yo. They take that B, they took that BDGD thing very seriously. I don't know how much y'all know, but they took that whole old black stuff very serious in the schools. But they never bang for anybody like they banging for K Dot. Kendrick Lamar right now, if you bring up Drake's name in school, it's a bad look. <laughs> it's a bad look. BBL Drizzy, y'all hilarious though. Shout out to you though. You funny too, brother. I beat Kendrick. Yeah. Kendrick has been a beast for a long time. What's going on here? Greetings from Maine. Shout out to Maine. Shout out to everybody from Maine, East Coast, Vermont, DMV, everybody. Shut up. Gossip. What's gossipy? I wanna. Uh, I don't know if that's the gossip you're saying about the no jumper thing. Like Diddy who played the bad boy. Yeah, he, I don't know what you're saying, but you're right. And I got to give you just because you understand about the Diddler. Shout out to you, Sly79. Shout out to, yo, make sure y'all make sure y'all subscribe to all the moderators, though. To make sure y'all subscribe to all the moderators. I made the moderators for a reason. They did were funny. And if they not, if you think about it, if people are naturally funny in the comment section, it ain't gonna be nothing for them to just turn their phone on and do this as well. So their content, if they even if y'all not, I matter of fact, yeah, let me say that right now. Let me put one in the air for y'all. This for all the con all the ones who are not content creators. This is for y'all to make sure y'all y'all take the path. Just take that first step. There's no flaws to this. Like, you don't have, first off, if you're doing something that you enjoy doing, whatever it is, 
You can just find different ways to cycle around that, th th different ways to do lives about it, different ways to um, make some audio books about it. How about you can go around and um, get in contact with me. We can make a cartoon about it. I can help y'all animate y'all stuff or whatever. I'm actually doing a thing right now um, with YouTubers and content creators. But I mean, we got to be, it got to be eye to eye. We got to make sure it makes sense though. But um, yeah, go do that. Get the, get another stream of income going on. Get yourself and then build it up and scale it. That's like you creating a franchise off of your own entrepreneurship and your own ownership of your own investments of your experiences and your knowledge. And you investing into yourself and you can scale that and become a franchise with that whole thing. Whatever you're doing. Y'all can turn this into all type of businesses. But if